Hello dear students, welcome to Visual Physics Tutor, the best place to learn the concepts of physics in the easiest and finest way. So today our topic will be electric field at a point due to a charge. To understand the concept, first we have to consider a charge Q to be placed at a point O. Now, let us consider a point P at a distance R from O. So, this is a point P at a distance R from O. And at this point P, let a test charge be placed. So, we can assume that the test charge is a positive one and is represented by Q0. So now we have to determine the electric field at P. So we have to consider a test charge placed at P. So I will write here. Consider a charge Q placed at O and let P be at P be a point at distance R from O to determine the electric field at P. So what do we do from the statement of Coulomb's law? We know that the force between two charges is directly proportional to the product of the charges and inversely proportional to the square between them. So here we can write, so force between the two charges. So what are those charges here? It is Q and Q0. So force between Q and Q0. So that can be represented as F is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q Q0 by the distance between them that is R square. Now again we had learnt that a formula for the force exerted by an charge because of the electric field is given by E is equal to F by Q. So the general formula is E is equal to F by Q. So here actually this charge Q exerts a force on Q0. When Q0 comes into the interaction with the force exerted by Q. So that can be given as E is equal to F by Q0. Now, to find the electric field, we can consider this as equation 1 and this as equation 2. So, what we do here, we can substitute the equation 1 in equation 2. So, E is equal to, instead of F, I can write 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q Q naught by R square. So we have substituted the value for F and now here Q remains, Q naught remains. So into 1 by Q naught. So this whole term is F. This is equal to F. Now here this Q naught and this Q naught gets cancelled out. So here the equation is E is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q by R square. So this is the final equation for the electric field produced by a charge. Now you can see here in this equation you don't find Q naught. So what does it show that the electric field is independent of the test charge. Hope you have understood this video and thanks.